which non-black inks fade less over time when used in journals? I like blue, such as Azagao, or red inks, such as diamine oxblood. I also like diamine ancient copper. Any recommendations for which may resist fading the best? Um, the inks that will resist fading the best are pigmented inks. Um, the only, there's not a lot of them out there. Um, and they do have higher maintenance that goes along with them than conventional fountain pen inks. Uh, but the Sailor has a couple different ones, the Seiboku and the, um, the Kiwaguro. And that's just a blue and a blue-black. Or sorry, a blue-black and a black. And then Platinum has four different ones. They have the Platinum Carbon Black, which you asked about non-blacks, but they have a pigmented blue. So if you like a blue that's kind of similar to Azagal, not quite as purple, but it's similar, the Platinum Pigment Blue, um, that might be a good option for you. They also have a pigmented rose red, which is kind of a pinky red color, um, and then pigmented sepia, which is kind of a light brown uh, with some red to it. So not going to be as, as quite as intense as oxblood to any degree. But those would probably be some of your better options. Um, the reason is because they have actual pigment in the ink, and pigments resist fading like a million times better than dye-based inks do. Most fountain pen inks, with the exception of the six that I just mentioned from Platinum and Sailor, uh, most fountain pen inks are dye-based, and dyes are inherently terrible at resisting UV ex you know, exposure and radiation. So anytime you've got fluorescent lights or sunlight or anything like that, and the ink is being exposed to it for a long period of time, it's going to fade. And that's pretty much true for just about any fountain pen ink. Now, there are some that are better than others. Um, noodlers like the Bulletproofs and the Eternals, uh, those the ones that are classified as that, are going to be better than most. Um, but if you're talking about blues and that as a gal, like that, that kind of cobalt blue range, and then reds, reds are notoriously terrible at resisting UV, and so are the blues in that range. So it's going to be really tough to find something that's going to hold up to UV. Uh, but that said, basically, if you're keeping it closed and not exposing it to UV a lot, you're going to really help yourself out a lot in terms of how much you're going to fight that fading tendency, I guess. That's really the key. No matter what ink you're using, you know, make sure that the paper you're using is acid-free, pH neutral, and is being stored properly you know, in a cool, dry place. Um, not going to get wet or anything like that. If you have it in a basement, don't keep it on the floor in case there's ever flooding. Um, you know, so, and if you can keep it sealed up, you know, that would be even better, like in plastic or something. Um, but if you, um, if you are going to be exposing it to sunlight, you know, getting those Noodler's um, inks would probably help you out. Um, I actually did a collaborative blog post with Jamie Grossman of um, Hudson Valley Sketches blog. Um, definitely recommend checking her blog out. She's just awesome. Um, but what you will uh, find there is that she did a test of actually exposing. Um, we kind of collaborated. I gave her samples of all the Noodler's Eternal inks that I had, all the ones that were claimed to be fade resistant. Um, and she did swabs of them and put them up in her window for like nine months and, and then took the other half of the swab and put it away and didn't have it exposed and then brought them back out and put them together and showed which ones uh, faded the most. And there were definitely some trends between certain colors that would do it. Um, you know, some you know, reds and blues typically did not do that great. Um, but then there were some other ones that were kind of surprising. So uh, definitely recommend you check those out. I'll put a link to that in this video. But um, so that, that would be my, my recommendations. But in general, it's not so much the ink you use, but how you store your notebook that's going to that's gonna do you the most good.